And now the new study linking vitamin D and cancer in a way we've never heard before. Doctors know that low levels of the vitamin can lead to a host of illnesses. But now research suggests that vitamin D might actually hold the key to fighting cancer. John McKenzie has a story. The studies just keep coming. The evidence mounting. Low levels of vitamin D are now linked to so many illnesses, from breast, colon, and prostate cancers, type 1 diabetes and asthma, to multiple sclerosis and heart disease. I even think of vitamin D as the fountain of youth, if you will, uh, in that it uh, allows us to age well. At least that's the hope. And nowhere is the evidence more compelling than here in the laboratory. So all the work here is on vitamin D? Yes. We've got Professor Joellen Welsh, who spent the last 25 years studying the powerful effect of vitamin D on cells. These are human breast cancer cells growing in the flask. Taken from a woman who had breast cancer? Yes. Now watch what happens when you add a potent form of vitamin D. Within just four days, half those cancer cells are dead. It looks like the cancer cells have basically shriveled up and died. The longer they're treated with vitamin D, the more of an effect we see. What happens is that vitamin D enters the cells and it triggers this cell death process. It's similar to what we see when we treat cells with tamoxifen. A drug used to treat breast cancer? Yes. That's amazing. It is amazing. It's, it's a very dramatic effect. That was just the beginning. Researchers here then took human breast cancer cells and injected them into mice. Tumors quickly began to grow, but when the mice were treated with vitamin D, the tumors began to shrink. Look, this one was reduced to half its size. The one here disappeared entirely. Similar results have been seen on colon and prostate tumors in mice. The real test, however, remains. Will vitamin D work this way in people? Other lab work is revealing how vitamin D can actually improve the way cells function in the heart and in blood vessels. When the number one killer is vascular disease, and vitamin D uh, makes our uh, arteries more healthy, basically, allows them to age well. Preliminary tantalizing research on a common nutrient with so much potential. For Good Morning America, John McKenzie, ABC News, Albany, New York. And Dr. Richard Besser joins us now with more on this. We heard John McKenzie just use the word tantalizing, tantalizing research. Uh, what, what do we know for sure about this? You know. I think it is tantalizing, but it's a long road from a lab study that shows vitamin D killing cells in a petri dish and curing a mouse mm -hmm. to something that would work in people. The first steps in, in drug development are testing in a lab and then testing in an animal model. But unfortunately, so many of those drugs that show early promise don't make it to, to drugs that work for people. Yeah, a big leap from one to the other. It, it really is. But we do know some things for sure about if we are deficient. Yeah. In, in vitamin D. I mean, vitamin D is so important, and it's it's one of those vitamins that's very hard to get uh, out of our out of our diet. If you're not getting enough vitamin D, and and you're elderly, mm -hmm. the risk of fractures, the risk of falls, osteoporosis are very high. Young children, something called rickets. Um, so it is important. Strength uh, plays a role with vitamin D. I just saw my doctor last week, and she suggested that when I see my my GP be tested mm -hmm. see what my level for, yeah. for vitamin D but but not everyone should, should be no, tested for this. You know, the current recommendations are not that everybody get tested for, for vitamin D deficiency if you're in a risk group so if you have kidney disease right. if you're clearly somebody um, who's had fractures then vitamin D testing is important I think for other people making sure you're getting a source of vitamin D is is more important than even having that test the Sun it is sun mm -hmm. and and you know we don't want people to get skin cancer no. but if you go out in the sun between 10 and 3 twice a week and you're getting 5 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. depending on where you live you'll get enough vitamin D I'm looking out there's a little sun out there today not much there is but your body will use it from the winter uh, from the summer during the winter all right rich thanks so much and we have more info on our website abcnews.com